Hello and welcome back. Here's another update on what I've been doing to the layout. Yes, yeah, still working on the baseboards. Here's the two small small pieces that was laid below that that board there. And I thought to have a good look and see how well it's going to fit. So this one pretty much right up to the edge. Um, along here and along the front, which is okay. There is quite a big gap here. It's about 60 millimetres or, or over two, two inches. Probably about yeah, two and a half, nearly three inches um, gap between here. And this board with all the cutouts is supposed to fit in somewhere like that. And that gap was for a support that goes down through there. But I've decided there's just there's too many gaps in, in these boards, so I'll get rid of these. Originally, they I think they were going to be um, part of back scenes or something, and I decided I'll just save them and use them for something else. So I'll get rid of them. And... What I'm going to do is just either get a new board to cover this area across here. Or what I might do is get a complete start pretty much almost again for this whole board here. So I was never really happy with this corner and since working on, on here yeah that's not good that's come apart it must was glued at some point but for whatever reason it wasn't screwed screwed back in so i've taken it apart for whatever reason there's a few screw holes there i don't i just really don't know why it never went back so really with all of this it just seems to be Quite a few little fixes. That's never really works as temporary fixes. So I might end up just redoing it. Just going to a timber merchant one weekend and just getting a whole load of boards, cap, a whole load of side pieces, and getting across, um, lengthways and across the width, and just redo it and getting you top. So I think that's probably the best way to do it. As for that board, I'm not too sure what I'll do with it. See, it, it's pretty much okay. The framework underneath could do them a lot more work. It's where I've taken off the top to turn it around. I've had to unscrew and break all the glue joints in there. So that might um, end up being redone. I've looked at the cost to get a new top for that board and this one in nine mil marine ply it was about 50 pounds now for a good layout that is i'd say it's reasonable but at the same time it is quite a lot of money 50 pounds just for the tops so i'd still need all the framework the legs i can use this piece I could probably use again as now it's extremely strong and sturdy and straight supported everything you'd need as for this side well yeah you can see right through it there is um like a double piece sandwiched together similar to this one but then this piece that runs along in the middle sandwiched together that two by one, it's only there because over there started warping, which isn't really surprising, being that there was just like a massive void going through and only about nine mil for the screws to hold on to. And admittedly, I hadn't put that many in. You can see one there, one there, and there's one in the corner. So I, just, as I didn't really want to put too many right on the edge where the track's going to be. But I'm guessing that's what needs to be done, or just by 
um, better timber. And the reason for this board possibly being changed is, you should be able to see it, over here, this area here is separate. And as you can see, there is a raised section. Both pieces came from B&Q. Both of them should be 9mm hardwood plywood. This one was always a darker colour. I don't know if it's just like a better quality or, or what. And this one was a bit lighter and for some reason, when you go by the actual measurements, it's 8mm, whereas this one is actually 9mm, which is what it says on the sticker and what's displayed. So there's always going to be a bit of an issue there. And stupidly, I ended up having 9mm, well, what should be 9 so 8mm, 8mm, 9mm in the fiddle yard area with about 8 tracks to cross over it. Yes, that was a very silly idea. But also, something that I could be wrong, but at the time where this was stored, um, it wasn't exactly damp, but there, re there really wasn't, there was quite a lot of moisture in the air, so it wasn't great. So I ended up going over all of it, all the faces, like front, the back, the sides, with wood preserver. Now I have a feeling the board might have absorbed some of it and swollen a little bit. As that does look more than one mil there. It shouldn't be that easy to see one mil difference between the two boards. So that would be the reason for replacing this one. It's in two parts. One is thicker than the other. So yeah, I might end up doing that. Or the other option is to have this thicker part over at the front and the better part, the wider part, which would be along here, over then flip the board upside down and just clean off any glue marks on there and then stick the foam on top of that. But either way, I'm either going to have to completely replace, rebuild both boards, so that one and this one, or just this one. So, yeah, that's the updates for now. Yeah, considering a complete fresh start. Unless I can somehow salvage that one and do something with it. As it is the main one. Got legs at, at both ends. And it supports the other board. So, this, this one over here is quite an important one. So, I think that will be it for today. So if you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. Any comments are welcome. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.